The Just Enough Items mod it allows you to see crafting recipes of pretty much any item in game right from Minecraft and what's amazing is it also works with tons of modded items meaning truthfully it's a must have if you're playing modded Minecraft. So how do you get it? Well first things first you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below and it will take you to our in-depth text guide on getting Just Enough Items. On this page, what you want to do is click the Download Just Enough Items button to be taken to Just Enough Items' official download page on CurseForge. From here, you can scroll down and see some of the different controls and things that you can do with Just Enough Items, but to download it, you want to go to the Files tab. Then on this tab, you want to find the 1.20.4 Forge version here. As you can see, this is the Forge version. You can confirm this over here on the right hand side. The Forge version, not the Neo Forge version. You want the Forge version for this tutorial and then 1.20.4. Click the three dots next to this and click download file. After a few seconds, the download will begin. While waiting on that, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize the server any way you want. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out the Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, as you can see here, we have just enough items downloaded. You may need to keep or save this pile depending on your browser, but for me, it just downloaded, but it's 100% safe to keep or save it. Nevertheless, we then want to move on to getting Forge. Forge is the mod loader that will actually link our mods, just enough items, to Minecraft, and you can find the link in the description down below to here. Up here at the top is an in-depth video guide on getting Forge, but there's also a super in-depth text guide. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but as you can see here, we have things like fixing different exit and error codes and all sorts of stuff that you might have issues with that you can get from this article that we just can't provide in a video like this one where we're getting a specific mod. Nevertheless, once you here, click on Download Forge, and that will take you to Forge's official download page. Now, what we want to do is come over here to the left-hand side and make sure we select 1.20 and then 1.20.4. If 1.20.4 isn't selected here, well, this isn't going to work. So you want to make sure that you're getting the Minecraft 1.20.4 version. Once you see that here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. Now that then takes us off to Add Focus. We're stuck. Stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, you will see a red skip button appear in the top right up here. Let's go ahead and click that red skip button and the download will begin. As long as Forge is in the title, you are good to keep or save Forge. And as you can see, for us, it is here, so you're good to do that. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is move both of these files to our desktop. So where are they? Well, they're in our downloads folder right now, so we can go here to our downloads folder and there they are forge and just enough items these won't live on your desktop forever just really until the end of the video and actually before the end of the video even once these are on your desktop we actually want to get started off with forge so right click on it click on open with click java and click ok but i don't have java here well if you don't have java what you want to do is go get java 17. java 17 is required for minecraft 1.20.4 mods like just enough items so you want to go get java 17 get this downloaded and installed super in-depth guide here you may also need to run the jar fix and what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. This is also linked below, but first get Java, then run the jar fix if you need to. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. They'll then open up the Mod System Installer for Forge, where you just need to click Install Client and click OK, and now Forge is going to install. The only reason it wouldn't is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure those are both closed and then reinstall Forge. And if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.4 before, just literally vanilla, open it up to the main menu, that sort of thing. If you've never done that, it won't work. So go do that. Just play it, open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then you're good to go and install Forge. Nevertheless, as you can see, for us, it was successfully installed, so we can go ahead and click OK and close out of it. Now let's go ahead and get just enough items installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. Then in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to play Minecraft using our Forge installation. Now, you should have a Forge installation set up and ready to go. As you can see, for me, it's already selected. You may need to click this little drop down and select it. If that's the case for you, click play and click play again. But if for whatever reason you don't have Forge here or it's not the right version, 1.20.4, come up to installations at the top. Then make sure modded is selected. As you can see, if modded is not selected, it's not there. If we check modded, there it is. But if you still don't have Forge, 
Forge or the right version of Forge here, click New Installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest place to play Minecraft with your friends. And then we want to go ahead and click the version drop down box here. Then select release 1.20.4-Forge. Right here it is for me, but you may need to scroll a ways to find yours, and you can even search in this to uh, find it easier. Then you want to change your resolution. At least I am. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so you can see once you get better in game. What you have to do is click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has that 1.20.4-Forge version under it. Hover over this, click play, and click play again, and now Minecraft's going to open up with Forge installed, and that's the hard part. Believe it or not, the hardest part of getting any Minecraft mod, including just enough items, is getting Forge. Once you've got Forge, well, it's super easy to add your mod from this point. So let's go ahead, open Minecraft to the main menu, where we can easily click on the Mods button. If you don't have the Mods button here, you didn't open up Minecraft with Forge, so make sure to go back and do that, but click on this Mods button, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left to open our mods folder. Then drag and drop just enough items from our desktop into the mods folder right like so. Now once you do that, we can close out of it. But just enough items isn't here. And it's not going to be here. What you want to do to get it here is click done and quit the game. Then restart Minecraft, making sure you're playing Minecraft with that Forge installation. Either the one that was there by default or the one that you created. It doesn't matter which. You've just got to be playing Minecraft with Forge in order for your mods to work. So no matter which one of these it is, that's perfectly fine. And then go ahead and click play and click play again. Now when we open up Minecraft, we will notice that when we go into the mods area, the mods button there, just enough items will appear. So if we go into mods here, we can see there it is, just enough items. We can also check it out in game by jumping into this simple game hosting server. Something really, really cool about just enough items is it works client side on Minecraft servers. So that means like if it's a vanilla server, you can join it and you'll still be able to see all of the, uh, you know, items and recipes by hitting E and opening up your inventory. Then right here it is. You can see all of the different stuff that you can craft. You can click around and, you know, get all the recipes. And if you're on a crafting table or something that uh, can allow for crafting, which I don't think there's any readily available here. But if you're on a crafting table, you can actually import different recipes using a plus button if you can craft them. So it's really, really cool and a great way to really take crafting to a lot more efficient level. So nevertheless, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.